During the search for Lloyd, another law enforcement official lost his life. Orange County Sheriff's Deputy Norman Lewis was killed in a traffic accident while searching for Lloyd. And as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates shows us, Lewis is from the Sun Coast and still has extensive ties to our community. Bo Beth. Yes, Norman Lewis' connections to the area run deep. He attended Port Charlotte High School and his parents still live on the Sun Coast, so Norman was a frequent visitor. He graduated in 2000, but I mean, he's the kind of kid you don't forget. Michael Riley remembers Norman Lewis. He was a former student in his class when Raleigh taught at Mayaka River Elementary. He says back then, Lewis was called Big Norm. I haven't seen him since fifth grade, yet I remember him as clear as a bell and, and everything about him. And, and I mean this sincerely, you can't find anyone who will say anything bad about him, and not just because of what happened. He was just that kind of guy. Norman Lewis, a deputy first class with the Orange County Sheriff's Office, was killed in a motorcycle accident while searching for Markeith Lloyd, the murder suspect in the Orlando Walmart police shooting. Lewis grew up in Charlotte County, but even after graduating from Port Charlotte High School and moving away, he continued to be a big part of the community. He was such a good kid. He would come on, someone told me last night too, he would come down here many, many weekends to visit with them and stay with them, you know. And he was, he was a mama's boy. Neighbors say Norman's parents, John and Norma Lewis, live in this house. They only had one child and they were eagerly awaiting his scheduled visit. This weekend was supposed to be a big weekend for him because Norm was coming down and they had not had a chance to celebrate Christmas and his birthday. This is devastating. Uh, Norm was everything to both of them. I think their world's going to stop for them for a while because they were so close. The community has since rallied around Norman's parents, and some Port Charlotte High School students are even petitioning to rename the stadium after the former football player. It's, it's really sad for the community that something like this happens, that somebody so, so good uh, is, is taken when, when the person that's responsible for this is not, and you can't even find him. Now, law enforcement officials say the search for Lloyd has expanded beyond the state of Florida, and they're doing everything they can to catch him.